Guys, welcome to episode five of Daily Dave. Today we're gonna to be talking about panther chameleons. Check out this male, isn't he gorgeous? He's got some dead skin, he's finishing up a shed. They shed in pieces, they're not like snakes where they shed all at once, their entire bodies. Uh, but these guys are from Madagascar and all the panther chameleons. Now there's a lot of different types of chameleons, but all the panther chameleons are from Madagascar and based on where they're found on the island, is going to determine their color and patterns. So I was going to get him to move a little bit. I don't want him to move too much because he gets to be hard to handle. He sees the female right now. So I'm going to put him back in and I'm going to get the female. So you're going to see the difference. So you, you see the male. And like I said, he's about twice the size of a female too. Oh, let me get the female. Hold on. This is becoming more of a challenge than I thought it was gonna be. So check her out, a uh, little camera shy. But how cool are their eyes? And look at their, so see how she, she uses her tail like another hand and that's called prehensile tail. So they use their tail to help them climb, which is kind of cool. And they also have what we call tongue toes. Their toes are fused together and they have two toes. I'm gonna try to get close and see if I can. They have two toes on the inside and three toes on the outside. See how they, they, they look like a pair of tongs. So they call them tong toes. But uh, I'm gonna put her back up here. And you guys know about their tongue, right? Their tongue is like crazy long and super cool because it has a suction cup at the end of it. So it can grab prey, crickets or whatever it wants to eat. But look at the colors coming out. So it's a myth uh, that they change colors instantly based on the background. They change colors more to absorb heat or to communicate with other chameleons. So it's not necessarily about you know their background. Um, these guys are arboreal, which means they live in trees. And I told you they live in Madagascar. And I've, what else do I want to tell you guys about chameleons here? Um, they don't make great pets, guys. Um, they make better pets today because they're all captive bred. Most all the ones you find are captive bred for several generations, like these that I'm holding here. And I breed them, and I've, you know, had babies. Um, so they're a lot healthier than, you know, 30 years ago. The only ones you would find were imports and they weren't healthy and they, we didn't really understand how to keep them in captivity and keep them healthy. Look how his eye moves. Each eye can move independently of the other. Now you see a little bit of dead skin on his face because he's shedding. <clears throat> um, but we've gotten a lot better. Um, but they don't really like to be handled. So unlike other lizards like the bearded dragon, and I'll do an episode on them soon, um, these guys, don't want to be stressed out and handled much. So, like I said, I wouldn't recommend them for a pet, but they are pretty cool for those that, you know, want to set up a nice vivarium with live plants and observe these guys and not handle them as much. So, this is the panther chameleon. This is an ambelobe. Um, again, that's just the area in Madagascar where this particular guy comes from and she's a female ambelobe hanging on to the door of her enclosure <laughs> she doesn't like the camera all right so panther chameleons hope you guys enjoyed catch up with you next time